Joe, you and, and Trey Williams did a great job on Josh Van. First half, he, he went without a field goal. Uh, what, what was the sort of the strategy you guys had going up against him in Montana's front court? And how how did you feel like you did when the game was relatively competitive? Oh, absolutely, man. Um, all week, we've been uh, rehearsing and preparing for this game. Um, not talking about last year, but we were trying to change. You know what I'm saying? And we're trying to do our best to start off strong. So all week we've been trying to just push the tempo and trying to do our best to prepare for this game. And it showed. Joe, when you saw the um, the press start to happen, when you guys went to the press and saw some early success with that, what was the? how did you feel the momentum shift as far as just seeing success with that and trying to keep that pressure, that, that intensity going? For sure. I think the diamond press is very, very dangerous. Um, Coach Downright did a wonderful job of putting that in. With all the length that we have and just the, the deep team that we have, it'll be dangerous all throughout the season. So kudos to Coach for putting that in. But with me being 6'8", 7' wingspan in front court, taking it out, man, is it's, it's scary. You know what I'm saying? So kudos to Coach for that. JD, what did the intensity from that defense really lead to you guys offensively? Yeah, um, it sparked, it sparked a, uh, a very high start note for us. Um, just seeing him pressure the ball like that and all the other bigs and then even the other guards pressure up top and just get deflection. That just rallied and started everything for us to just get hot. When you have a shooting day like that where just everything is going in, how hard is it to try to just keep them firing off and letting the game come to you? Um, just trusting my teammates, man, giving thanks to them most of all and then to coach as well, trusting them, trusting them to get me the ball and playing off of me as well so I can get them the ball as well, man. I love to share it as well, not just score it. Day Day, following off of that, you obviously did have the propensity of scoring coming in. Just what was it like finding your voice within this offense to have a night like tonight was? Um, like I just said, man, just being patient. Um, patience is key to me and my life. So I try to base that around a lot of things. And like I said, again, trusting my teammates and coach, that really, that really didn't come into like a problem or a challenge of me trying to involve myself in the offense. I just let it come. You guys had a lot of different guys play significant minutes tonight, uh, most of which are new to the program. How's it been developing a cohesive uh, uh, program on offense? I'll start off. First and foremost, like I've already said, man, we're deep. We're super deep. Our young core is talented. Um, and it just shows that on and off the court, we're, 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 we have a connection. I feel like all summer and just all preseason, man, we've been implementing just brotherhood on and off the court. Before um, before everything kind of started, man, we just we kind of connect. We clicked up early, and it just shows on the court. Everything's on that one, did it? Not really. You touched all points. Um, really just picking off, piggybacking off what you said, though. Our gel and our connection is really tight and has a strong hold um, within the brotherhood word, but the definition as well for it. We, we tend to find that niche and continue to just grow, continue to gel. We're going to be all right. Sure. Joe, the dunk you had off the steal in the first half, Kareem Rozier, I think he was just roaring louder than the crowd was after that happened. It, it felt like watching you guys all interact, it seems like everybody was trying to find a way to feed off each other, and everybody contributed mm -hmm. in a game like that. When you get the opportunities to have so many guys put their hand in the pile, what kind of confidence does that give, every, give everybody, knowing that everybody's pitching in? Man, you are the energy you uh, give. So when you have guys on the bench that are rooting for you, even when you mess up, man, it just it inspires you to keep going. And even with the dunk, man, seeing my teammates jump and happy, that makes me want to get back in the diamond and play even harder and get another one. You know what I'm saying? So kudos to my teammates for constantly just inspiring me to play harder with their energy and their emotion. Joe, at times it was tough going back to last year, getting the ball to move. Just what was it like? You've had a couple really good high posts on cutting actions. Just watching the ball rotate, watching the dialogue be top, be good, and find success within that. Um, Coach Dan Broadman has always his philosophy is to share it. Once again, we're deep, so with all the talent that we have, man, we could be dangerous if we just share the ball. So I think the movement that we have is all kudos to Coach Man because all off season we've been working on ways to get open, ways to spread the floor, and ways to get everyone involved in the show tonight. Day Day, with, with Tevin down, there was obviously a lot of speculation as to how point guard was going to work. Just from your perspective, um, how did you feel like the dynamic went between uh, Quincy and Kareem, just uh, splitting time, bringing the ball up at point? 
I loved it. Um, really, I love to see them too compete on the floor, man. Just going against others and just going at it playing, man. Like it's it's an honor just to see two young guys just really want to be on the floor and contribute to an older team just like we are. So um, I just love to see that and them sharing it and bringing it up, whichever. I just know they're going to try to do their job the best way as possible and just get each other involved and get others involved as well. For each of you, how do you look forward to the opportunity on Friday? What do you think that opportunity is for you guys in Kentucky? I think that's a big test. I think the whole entire nine conference scale is a huge test because the A-10 is a great conference. And I think uh, this will be a huge test for us and a wonderful um, just way to just kind of see where we're at, you know what I'm saying, and kind of work from it. So I think it'll be a huge test and we're all excited for it. It's a huge stage. Why not be happy? <laughs> I feel like this is just a great opportunity, man. It's going to play somebody else, man. I'm supposed to be on a bigger stage and just a top-notch team. Everybody and others will say, but they're another team, man. They're another team. They're, it's another game. They have a ball and a hoop, two hoops just like us, and we have each other. So we're going to go out and compete and just look forward to a W for sure. How much does it help coming off of a debut like this where you got people coming in to see this team? Ten new guys, no one knows what to expect. You deliver this off the hop. How, how much confidence does that give you? Oh, man, it, it just gets us so happy. You should have seen the energy in the locker room just now, man. Everybody's excited. And it's, it's also lovely to see the student section packed and seeing everybody come. So with all that being said, man, it's, it's our job to not only keep going, but keep bringing people in here. You know what I'm saying? Keep playing hard or keep, keep going. And that's what we're going to do for sure. You guys arguably came into season uh, preseason prediction last various outlets. Now after this one, arguably the most impressive result of all the A-10 teams. Now there's going to be expectations going forward. Does that uh, adjust things for you guys, or is it just going to be the same old, same old how you guys are going to operate? Man, from the beginning, man, ever since summer when we saw those preseason polls, we were pissed. We had a chip on our shoulder from jump because we felt as though we were way better than that. So every day at practice, coach always puts that out there. They had us last. They had us last. That just brings us fire. That brings us energy. And that just inspired us to keep going harder because, once again, they had us last. Say different players? <laughs>